Welcome back to Arcurus Plays Star Wars Squadrons. Looks like we're back on the uh, Republic side again. Hey, pal, over here. Oh, that's a Y Wing. We might be flying a Y Wing this time, everybody. What's up, my little R2 bro? I know, I'm excited too. I wonder if it's actually going to give us like ion cannons and stuff like it's supposed to. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosnian Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later. Oh. Um, boost morale. Oh, Pazak is, uh... Right? Pazak is canon Tell now? Me, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, it's just something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business. Like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Yeah, like oh, everybody no. in the Empire wants to fucking oh, kill him. Know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you I think it might be something he can fix with a giant battleship, you. Frisk. Now, I notice Motive here, they're pulling a lot of uh, Old Republic, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic references. We got Zerka, we've got now Pazak. Hmm. I mean, Bioware is owned by EA. This company, Motive, is owned by EA. Star Wars KOTOR 3 confirmed? It'd be nice. Like, a uh, complete remaster of uh, Star Wars KOTOR, as well as, you know, you know, KOTOR 2, but actually let them fucking finish the game. Uh, yeah, they'd have my money if they did that. I I'd give EA more money for that. EA, keep, keep giving me the things that I like. Contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime and the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Linden, what have you done? Relax, Otto. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. He's setting a trap. That sounds like what Linden's doing. Let's see, it looks like we got the the gangs all here. An old protege of mine. Marissa Carroll is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wing with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. The Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, 
Destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any ditches atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. All right. Why wings, man? Why wings? It's it's time. I have to say, the commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. Let's focus on the mission. Let's see, Javes, do you got any, uh, any more input here? Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. I kind of wonder about that tag hanging around his neck. It's actually quite like prominent on his character and his character design. I wonder if that's like an Imperial or Rebel dog tag or something like that. Let's see, it looks like we can talk to Keo. Anybody else sitting around here? It's like I said before, I do find Keo endearing. You can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Jace. You're a this Jedi. This is personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? Right. Let's do this. Why wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. Right, the BTL A4 Y Wing. Repurposed by the Rebel Alliance, these older bombers utilize ion cannons and missile payloads to mobilize and eliminate larger ships in the Imperial fleet. Alright, let's edit our loadouts. Let's see what we got. Let's see, we got a rotary cannon. Heavy rotary cannon. I'm worried about missing. I'll take that. Let's see, we got proton bombs, Goliath missile. Okay, I guess we have to keep both of those. Except I wanna heal because I'm kind of not very good at this game. No, I want my health as high as possible, and all of these reduce my max health, except for this one. Changing speeds takes longer. No, oh, we'll take that. They may be slow, but these things can take a beating. You know, we're gonna go with the with the ray shields. Uh, most of those are like having to do with boost, and I don't really use boost all that much. All right, so yeah, we're gonna drop our acceleration maneuverability for a lot more survivability. So hopefully, this thing tanks a shit ton of damage because it's gonna have to.
Look at that beautiful, ugly bitch. We're gonna fuck some shit up. So, uh, with the Empire eavesdropping on New Republic comms, do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? She only cares about finding our Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure, still. Better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Oh man, I love having like a throttle so I could very granularly control my speed. On your wing, Frisk. Station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go. Five, give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away. Now. Nice bombing. What? It's a raid. Alert tide patrols. Okay, I like this too.
Nice work. Imps won't be calling any reinforcements today. on it, Gunny. Alright, five, form up at the edge of the station. It's time to take out the thermal systems. You want to give me a resupply here, Gunny? I'm going to need some bombs for this. Oh god, I love these laser cannons. Okay, so if it's rapid fire and rotary, I'm all into it. Yep, of course we are. Come on.
I know you do, but I want to have that Corvette survive. I'm aware of that. I'm busy defending the Corvette. Okay, so this Y-Wing can take one hell of a beating. I'm not gonna make it. Oh! Oh, that. That about took my engines off. So the, uh, the Y-Wing, she's tough, she's slow, she can take a beating, she's got so much armament, and this laser cannon, wow. Alright, I really like that. I think the support craft are the only ones I don't like flying. Yeah, look at that thing. Mm. I like it. Looks like the only thing I didn't get is the efficiency metal. Yeah. 11 minutes or less. I was probably pretty close. Anyway. Oh. That was an action-packed episode. I really like the Y-Wing. I kind of always have. Though it's not my favorite. That uh, that belongs to TIE Interceptor. But man, uh, the Y-Wing always feels real great to fly. You always feel like you're flying like just uh, a space-borne arsenal when you have that thing. And like doing like a trench run, uh, dropping some proton bombs. Oh, that, and that rotary, those rotary laser cannons. Man, that's a... That's just a great addition uh, to Star Wars, all told. That was pretty cool. Alright, well, this is Arcurus signing off. I will see you guys next time.